Mary Edgerson 2000, 19-year-old Kardashian eloped with music producer Damon Thomas. Thomas filed for divorce in 2003. Kardashian later blamed their separation on physical and emotional abuse on his part, and said she was high on ecstasy during the ceremony. Prior to the completion of her divorce, Kardashian began dating singer Ray J in May 2011. Kardashian became engaged to NBA player Chris Humphreys, then of the New Jersey Nets, whom she had been dating since October 2010. They were married in a wedding ceremony on August 20th in Montecito, California. Earlier that month, she had released her wedding fragrance called Kim Kardashian Love, which coincided with her own wedding. A two-part TV special showing the preparations and the wedding itself, aired on E! In early October 2011, amidst what the Washington Post called a media blitz related to the wedding. After 72 days of marriage, she filed for divorce from Humphreys on October 31st, citing irreconcilable differences. Several news outlets surmise that Kardashian's marriage to Humphreys was merely a publicity stunt to promote the Kardashian family's brand and their subsequent television ventures. A man professing to be her former publicist, Jonathan Jackson, also claimed that her short-lived marriage was indeed staged and a ploy to generate money. Kardashian filed suit against Jackson, saying his claims were untrue, and subsequently settled the case that included an apology from Jackson. A widely circulated petition asking to remove all Kardashian-related programming from the air, followed the split. The divorce was subject to widespread media attention. Kardashian began dating rapper and longtime friend Kanye West in April 2012, while still legally married to Humphreys. Her divorce was finalized on June 3, 2013. Kardashian and West became engaged on October 21, Kardashian's 33rd birthday and married on May 24, 2014, at Fort I Belvedere in Florence, Italy. Her wedding dress was designed by Riccardo Tissi of Givenchy, with some guest dresses designed by designer Michael Costello. The couple's high status and respective careers have resulted in their relationship becoming subject to heavy media coverage. The New York Times referred to their marriage as a historic blizzard of celebrity. In January 2021, CNN reported that the couple was discussing divorce, and on February 19, 2021, Kardashian officially filed for divorce. Religion Kim Kardashian is a Christian, and has this health and pregnancies. Kardashian and West have four children. Daughter North, born June 15, 2013, Son Saint, born December 5, 2015, Daughter Chicago, born January 15, 2018, and Son Song, born May 9, 2019. Kardashian has publicly discussed difficulties during her two pregnancies. She experienced preeclampsia during her first, which forced her to deliver at 34 weeks. With both pregnancies, she suffered placenta accreta after delivery, eventually undergoing surgery to remove the placenta and scar tissue. After her second pregnancy, doctors advised her not to become pregnant again. Her third and fourth children were born via surrogacy. Kardashian has also spoken about her psoriasis. In May 2014, Kardashian was estimated to be worth US $45 million. In 2015, Forbes reported she had made more this year than ever, as her earnings nearly doubled to $53 million from 2014's $28 million, and reported that she has monetized fame better than any other. Much of her income includes wholesale earnings of the Sears line, the Kardashian Collection, which brought in $600 million in 2013, and the Kardashian Beauty Cosmetics line, Kardashian branded tanning products, the boutique line Dash, as well as sponsored social media posts, which are collectively worth $300,000 $500,000 per post. As of July 2018, Kardashian is worth US $350 million. Combined with husband Kanye West's net worth of $1.3 billion, their total household net worth is an estimated $510 million, making them one of the richest couples in the entertainment industry. Kardashian does not receive alimony payments from either of her first two marriages. Advocacy during an interview with Katie Weaver of GQ for the July 2016 issue. Kardashian described herself as a Democrat, and declared support for Hillary Clinton, in the 2016 US presidential election. Kardashian, 
has expressed pride in her Armenian and Scottish ancestry. She is not a citizen of either country and does not speak Armenian. She has advocated for the recognition of the Armenian Genocide on numerous occasions and encouraged President Barack Obama and the United States government to consider its acknowledgement. In April 2015, Kardashian traveled to Armenia with her husband, her sister Chloe, and her daughter North, and visited the Armenian Genocide Memorial Tsitsunakabur along with Van Jones and Jared Kushner. She was instrumental in persuading President Trump to support the First Step Act, which enacted major reforms in the U.S. prison system. Van Jones later stated that without Kardashian, the act would have never passed because it would not have received the president's support. It was later passed by a great majority in the U.S. Senate. In early 2019, Kardashian West largely funded the 90 Days to Freedom campaign, an initiative to release nonviolent drug offenders from life sentences by attorneys Brittany K. Barnett and Angel Cody. The effort resulted in 17 persons being released under the provisions of the First Step Act. Kardashian West was widely credited for the success of the campaign in media headlines. Commentary on her involvement ranged from praise to assertions that it was a public relations stunt to accusations that she was taking the credit for work she did not do. In a Facebook post from May 7 of that year, Barnett commented on the divisive and underfunded nature of the criminal justice reform space, adding Kim linked arms with us to support us when foundations turned us down. We and our clients and their families have a lot of love for her and are deeply grateful for her dot in April 2019, it was revealed in Vogue that Kardashian was studying to pass the bar exam. Instead of attending law school, she is reading the law dot in January 2017, she tweeted a table of statistics that went viral, highlighting statistics that show that gun violence in the United States kills 11,737 people annually while terrorism in the United States kills 14 people annually. In January 2018, the World Economic Forum awarded it the International Statistic of the Year for 2017. On a trip to Uganda in October 2018, she met with President Yaeri Museveni with her husband. They had a press conference, and Kani talked about tourism in Uganda. They were criticized for meeting the Museveni due to his being a dictator and his recent crackdown on the opposition and the Ugandan LGBT community. Oh, on October 10, 2020, Kardashian announced she is donating $1 million to Armenia Fund, a humanitarian organization that supports Armenia's development. She also had previously posted messages on social media in support of Artsik due to the recent war that broke out between Artsik and Azerbaijan regarding the disputed territory of nagorno karabakh she also urged followers to donate to Dot Paris Robbery on October 2, 2016. While attending Paris Fashion Week, Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in the apartment where she was staying. Five individuals, dressed as police officers, bound and gagged her, then stole $10 million worth of jewelry. The thieves got into her residence by threatening the concierge. Once they accessed Kardashian's room, they held a gun to her head, tying her wrists and legs and wrapping duct tape around her mouth as a gag. Kardashian, who was placed in the bathtub, was physically unharmed and reportedly begged for her life. She managed to wriggle her hands free from the plastic ties around her wrists and scream for help. The thieves escaped. On October 6, 2016, 